wee, this is going to be a crazy video. So I wanted to talk about Jeffrey Epstein. And going down that rabbit hole, I can't cover everything that he's been involved with, but a couple months back, I decided to actually go out to Stanley, New Mexico to see where his Zorro Ranch was. And I searched around for it for a little while before I saw it shining up on top of this big hill overlooking the nearby town. And I just wanted to go over a little bit of history around this ranch specifically. And I say this is going to be a big video to talk about because I have to cut out 99% of it. I mean, the allegations in the early 2000s that started in Florida are absolutely just insane. But to start with, uh, Stanley is a fascinating place in itself. It seems to me that the King family has a very prominent presence here. And if you take a look at it, Bruce King was the 23rd, 25th, and 28th governor of New Mexico. Uh, aggressive and work with the people. The wisdom of Bruce King, the rancher, politician, family patriarch. New Mexico mourns his passing. Governor King died this morning with his family by his side at their ranch in Stanley. He was the most powerful man in the state for years, but he was still known as the good old boy of New Mexico politics. It was from Bruce that Epstein actually purchased this 10,000-acre ranch on which he built a 27,000-foot mansion, a runway strip, and a radar station. Gary King was the 30th Attorney General of New Mexico. Hello, I'm Attorney General Gary King with a message for the young people of New Mexico. It's important for kids to lead a healthy and active lifestyle. And David King was the 25th Treasurer of New Mexico. And this is all in spite of the fact that the town only has a population of just a couple hundred people. It's incredibly remote. It's way out in the middle of nowhere. And that made it perfect for Epstein's kind of nefarious dealings. In 2002, Epstein donated $50,000 to Bill Richardson's campaign to run for governor, which he did again in 2006. And both of these were successful. And I'm running for president because this nation needs a leader with a proven track record, an ability to bring people together to tackle our problems here at home and abroad. I am that person, not because I say so, but because of what I've done. The same year, he donated $15,000 to Gary King's run for New Mexico Attorney General. That was also successful. At the same time, he was donating a lot of cash, especially around the early 2000s, because it was in 2005 that the FBI charged him with sex crimes in Florida. They found him guilty of abusing dozens of girls and sentenced him to 18 months in jail. He had an open cell and he had fucking butlers who were played by cops in suits who would welcome guests. But that's besides the point. That's for a video in the future of Florida. And he donated $2,000 towards the Santa Fe County Sheriff Jim Solano's re-election bid. And in return for all of these efforts, he was noticed. And in 2010, he was contacted and told that he didn't have to register as a sex offender by the New Mexico Department of Public Safety. We begin with breaking news. And that breaking news, New Mexico Public Safety Secretary Mark Shea has been dismissed. The governor's office will not tell us why, saying they are working to strengthen the agency with a new emphasis on community police work. And this is a horrible violation of federal law. So needless to say, he had quite a number of roots here in New Mexico. And it was also in 2019 that the first person who accused him of these sex crimes, who filed her first accusation back in 1996, saying that Epstein raped her and her, at the time, 15-year-old sister, and he flew her out to this property in 1995. Maria Farmer was a young artist in the 1990s when she met Epstein. She and her younger sister, Annie, claim Epstein sexually assaulted them, and Farmer is now suing Epstein estate over the alleged incident. And this was, I believe, just a couple years after he bought it. And this was filed to the FBI and the New York police, who promptly just kind of ignored it. Oddly enough, just before his arrest, he took an interest in eugenics and started actually talking about it. He'd been interested for decades in eugenics, but he believed himself to be greater than every other human on the planet. And it was announced in August of 2019 that he would use his New Mexico ranch to impregnate up to 20 women at a time, seeding the world with his genes. One of the 
features of the transparency on your website is that you have a list of your donors right. so that people can see where the money comes from. And you apparently were not shy about putting Jeffrey Epstein on there. How did you meet him and what did he fund and how did that work out? He, he liked um, attending meetings with, with, with scientists, cutting edge scientists were talking. So I would go to meetings mostly because the scientists were there. And uh, It sounds like the plot to an anime supervillain, you know, kind of story arc. And when I arrived at his New Mexico ranch, I saw that people were still there. This is a compound all on its own. It is way out in the middle of nowhere. It is right in the backyard of famous, basically a family that has for years had political power in the state, and it has its own airport. You don't even drive up to Zorro Ranch because you can't. It's blocked with a military-style gate and basically a village that blocks the main road from the highway up to Zorro Ranch. People are living there year-round. It's fully staffed. I don't know if these were FBI or if these were just still people of the Epstein family estate. Uh, Epstein himself, I don't want to go into all this context, honestly, because a lot of model companies, a lot of famous politicians, they were all implicated in this. They all had their hands dirty. The Democrat, Republican, everybody was involved with this. And to me, actually standing and looking up at Zorro Ranch, which he had for decades, and realizing that nobody ever questioned what the hell is going on inside of this ranch that Epstein never even needs to drive to? He doesn't even need to use the road to get there. Police can't investigate it. Nobody asked any questions. And to me, that's disturbing because I ask, how many more of these ranches are out there in America, in the Virgin Islands, in Paris? God forbid, even in places that you can't even reach. In the summer of 1996, Farmer says Epstein sent her to be an artist in residence on the vast estate of Les Wexner, the CEO of L Brands, which owns Victoria's Secret. How would you describe Epstein's relationship with Wexner? Epstein told me what their relationship was. He said Wexner would do anything for him. <laughs> he bragged about it. The estate, she says, was heavily guarded by armed security and dogs. 